Hello and welcome to another of my uh, Tsugi demonstrations. Uh, today we are going to show you how to use the uh, Canvas content item. And so I'm going to take a look at some documentation, uh, assuming that you're going, this is a really end user rather than developer. Um, if you've gotten a key, we have this documentation about how you're supposed to use that key. And Canvas, the Canvas Learning Management from, uh, System and from Instructure, has this thing called Content Item. And it's a really neat feature, and I'll just show you how to use it. It all starts with this URL that's kind of like the table of contents of things in your Tsugi server. So I'm going to go into uh, my pilot Canvas and go into my settings. Um, and I'm going to go into View App Configurations, and I'm going to add a new application. And I'm going to call this one Sugi. And I'm going to use my consumer key and super secret secret and go back to URL. And I paste in that XML URL that I copied in uh, from the documentation and I submit. Now you've got to have a key and a secret. And when you're done, you're all set. And so now I have this thing, the Sugi. And what's interesting here is it's got, got this feature called resource selection, which means I'll show you in a second what happens. So now I go back to my uh, modules in Canvas, and here I am in my Canvas module, and I'm going to say, um, no, add a new thing. And I'm going to add an external tool, which is Canvas's way and most LMS's way of mentioning LTI. And you'll see that we've got a whole bunch of sort of standard things that are LTI based, but this is Sugi now. Sugi, in effect, is now a collection of the tools and you indicate that it is a selectable thing. This is actually going to bring up a selection dialog. You could type a URL for a Sugi tool. And as a matter of fact, if you looked at this documentation, it would tell you a whole bunch of URLs that you could type. But we're not going to do that. We're going to actually use the content item picker. And if you're going to put a whole bunch of things into a course, this is a lot easier than cutting and pasting URLs. So what's happening is it's launched a picker. Now inside this is actually Sugi itself. Sugi is telling us the kinds of tools it's capable of inserting into Canvas. So now when I say select tool, bang, it's going to send that data back to Canvas. It really just sent the URL back and I'm going to add it as an item. And then I can add another one. I can add something else. I can add a peer graded Dropbox and add that. So you see I've got these two things. If I click this participant map using Google, this is an LTI launch. And you'll notice it's all pre-configured. Now I put the key and the secret in when I actually installed the link to Tsugi, but I picked it and configured the URL for this thing. And you know, this is my standard tool that does Google Maps. And if I go back, I've got, I placed another one, peer graded Dropbox. So here's the peer graded Dropbox. I can configure the assignment, et cetera, et cetera. And so this is an amazingly quick and easy way to put lots of things into. You just say, oh, I'm gonna add another one. Go grab me an external tool. Go down to Tsugi and hit the search button. Rather than installing Tsugi, I'm actually gonna use the Sugi's built-in content item selector. This is the key. This is the feature that Canvas is the only one that does, although I want to add this to Sakai as soon as I possibly can. Okay, and so I'll pick another one. Um, I will do my simple attendance tool and I'll just add it. So there you go. My simple attendance tool. I can enter my code one, two, three, four, five update the code, and now my students could come and, and register their, for their attendance for these various classes. So that's it. That's pretty much the whole thing. Um, you know, go back to the Sugi documentation and uh, take a look at the configuring LTI launches, and it will tell you exactly how to do this, okay? So uh, that's it. Thanks for listening.